We're getting older now, but we all remember the video games that mean the most to us. From Earthbound to Zelda and everything in between. Join me, Metroid's Prime, as I take you on a journey to show you the video games that changed my life. Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite games from 2013. And keep in mind, this is my personal list, so yours might be different, but let's go ahead and get started. At number 10, I have a, a game that really surprised me, and that is Forza Motorsport 5. And I say it surprised me because I'm not a big fan of racing games, but from the first time I played this game, it had me hooked. And, you know, if you buy one game on the Xbox One that really showcases the Xbox One's power, it's definitely going to be this one. But, you know, just from the rumble features, using the triggers, driving, and just the amazing graphics, and all the different type of, of circuits you can race on, it's just a great game. A great racing game, and one of my favorites from 2013. And coming in at number 9 on the Wii U, I have Super Mario 3D World. And honestly, guys, I was getting kind of fatigued on the whole Mario franchise because it seemed like lately they were coming out with the same game over and over and over again with the new Super Mario Brothers games. But this is the closest thing that I've played to Super Mario 64 since I played it back on the Nintendo 64. And the single player is great, playing it co-op is great, and just a great game. Definitely one of my favorites of this year. Alright, and coming in at number 8, I have a great side-scrolling beat-em-up, and that is Dragon's Crown. And Dragon's Crown's really a love letter to the old-school beat-em-ups like Golden Axe and other games like that. And the game is beautiful, has very unique art style to it, and it's something that I've been looking forward to for a long time, and it really didn't disappoint. And honestly, it's just as good on the Vita as it is on the PS3 so I bought two copies of it. I bought one for the Vita so I could take it traveling with me when I wanted to uh, go on a vacation I would still have a copy to play but a great game and definitely something that I had to put in my top 10 this year. Alright and coming in at number 7 is my favorite RPG for this year and that's Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch for the PS3 and the story is just so charming and the artwork's charming and it's just a great game. I had a, a really a fun time playing this and it's it's one of the better RPGs I've played on this console generation. But a great game definitely deserves to be in the top 10 this year. Alright, coming in at number 6, I have Bioshock Infinite. I'm a huge fan of the original Bioshock and the second one when it came out, to me it was kind of a disappointment. This game really was a return to its roots, and I was just really intrigued with, with the story and the city of Columbia and its history, and the music in this game was great. It was just a great story altogether, and all those elements really were woven together so nicely. Definitely, it's going to be on a lot of people's uh, Game of the Year list, but a great game definitely had to be in my top 10 this year. All right, coming in at number five is probably one of the most charming games I've played in a long time, and it's from the creators of Little Big Planet, and that is Tearaway. I really had no idea what to expect coming into this game, and wow, was I so surprised when I first started playing it. It has such a unique way of immersing you in the story and actually bringing you into the world, the game world, and I don't want to tell you too much because I want you to experience it for yourself but a really magical game you know a lot of people have been waiting for that title on the Vita that was going to make you go out and buy the system and I promise you this is it it is an amazing game it's been getting reviews of like 9.5 9.4 and it definitely deserves that maybe even higher it's a great game and uh, you know it, it's it's up there toward the top of this list for me just because I was so amazed with it. But a great game. Definitely check this out if you have a Vita. Alright, coming in at number four, I have Grand Theft Auto 5. 
and personally to me this is the best Grand Theft Auto game since Vice City. The characters were so interesting and it was so cool how you swap back and forth from each character and you really get into the story which to me has always been a problem with the Grand Theft Auto games is you, there's so much to do on the sides that you lose track of the story and this really you know had me wanting to find out what was going to happen next and I love the heist that you can plan in the game there's so many different ways you can perform a heist a great game and it really brought me back to this franchise and like I said this is the best Grand Theft Auto since Vice City. Alright and coming in at number three I have The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Wow guys this game blew me away. I was so surprised when they first announced it. I was a big fan of A Link to the Past and you know when I first sat down and played this game I was I was just immediately captured by it and it, it's something that I, I think that they needed to do for a long time with the Zelda franchise is take it back to its roots but definitely deserves to be in my top three all right coming in at number two I have Tomb Raider wow what a reboot this was I was a huge fan of the original Tomb Raider series and I've been looking forward to this game for such a long time and when it finally came out I was not disappointed at all. You know, it's so different from the original series, but it still pays homage to its roots, you know, while developing a whole different style of gameplay. And to me, it really reminded me of the TV show Lost, which I was a huge fan of, because you have all these crazy things going on on this island, and trying to find out what was the root of all this, what was causing these crazy events to happen on the island I was just I you know I had to sit down and play it till I finished it because I was just so immersed in that story and I was just that you know they had me on the edge of my seat and a lot of my friends say was it really that good and a lot of people just have not sat down and played this game but trust me it is a amazing amazing game definitely play this if you've never played it before I want to say now it's fairly cheap to buy, but a great reboot to the series, and I honestly just can't say enough about it. They really made Laura a more, they made her more human. She's very vulnerable in this, and you definitely have that sympathy for her, but definitely a great game. I know it's going to be very controversial <laughs> to name it my number two, but it really was, in my opinion, a great game, and I loved it. All right, and coming in at number one, is The Last of Us. And from the moment I sat down and played this game, I knew it was going to be my favorite game for this year. It's really a return to old school survival horror, and it is survival horror at its best. A great game, uh, really creepy aspects to it. it. It kind of reminds me of Walking Dead in ways because you're in this post-apocalyptic uh, world and you have to watch out for these zombies as well as as humans because they're both equally as dangerous and just a really neat story and I can't wait for the sequel I'm a huge fan of Naughty Dog and this you know I've heard people say this it's overrated but trust me it's not it's definitely worth a play if you're a fan of the old school Resident Evil stories, this blows that away. So definitely check that out if you're a fan of survival horror games. And even if you're not, it's just an amazing story, uh, something very unique and new, and I love it. A great new franchise is born in this game. But all right, guys, that's it. That's my top 10 list. I would love to hear what is on your top 10 list. If you have any questions or comments about these games or please give me your top 10 list down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, and guys, as always, we'll see you next time.